Hey guys, and welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Now today, I'm gonna to be tackling some of this interior, namely the seats. Now I, when I purchased this car, if you've seen this video, um, the, bar, the car came with bucket seats. Now I wanted to be able to take my daughter in the car, so the bucket seats had to go. Now I threw this ivory silver leather in for the time being, and whilst the Audi TT leather is quite comfortable, it lacks that sort of sporty luster that you'd want when you buy a car like this. Now, I have been searching high and low for a bolt-in option. Now, there's obviously, with a TT, because the, the base is so easy to adapt to, and I'll show you that when I take the seat out in a minute, um, you can pretty much put any seat in here, providing it fits widthways and it doesn't um, make you too high up in the seat. Now, the seating position in a TT is very nice, very low, very sporty. I mean, if you have this on the lowest setting, um, it's almost in line with your shoulder with the door, so you've got quite a nice um, sort of low down feeling with a plenty of headroom. There's at least sort of four or five inches above my head. Um, but the seats just lack that, you know, that sporty look that you want when you buy something like this. So apart from um, sort of a generic seat like out of a, a later TT or anything like that, because none of them fit exactly the same. So I've been looking at different options available. Now, the brackets you can buy, you can buy OMP ones. I recommend the Boost Fabrications ones. Um, they're just a flat piece of metal that bolts in the four places and then you can literally drill the holes needed for the new seats. Now, when purchasing new seats, you have to consider different factors. Now, I'll flash some pictures up for you now. Um, there is so many different mounting types. Some have um, four bolts, some have two bolts, two sort of hook-ins. Some have three fixings, one at the front, two at the back, vice versa. Some have two flat, uh, sort of two horizontal, two vertical fixings, and I go on and on. Now, I was looking for a nice shapely seat that had as close to flat mounting as possible, um, so that you could easily mount it to the bracket, not too wide, out of a sports car already. I was looking at everything from old, like MX-5s, because they have that nice sort of tombstone looking seat, um, right up to the newer stuff like um, Corolla Sports, AEA6s, Subarus, that kind of stuff, because they all come with sort of nice buckety style seats. But I wanted something that had a little bit of, a little bit of holding you on the bolster, but had sort of a quite nice shape to it without being too large. And then I done some research and apparently this seat that I picked is an absolute swap, bolt on, bolt out, no brackets required. Now, I bought the seats and I, I've looked at them. I haven't tried fitting them yet. I've looked at them and they look to be very similar and they may be quite a good budget option. Now, let me whip this seat out and I'll come back and I'll show you what I've got. And there you have it. This is the seat. Now I know you can't see it, I'll show you in a second. Now this is a Porsche Boxster 986 seat. So it's a similar year to the TT. This actually came out of a 53 plate and it's going into an 03 plate car. So fingers crossed, they do mix and match and use the same mounting points. They look similar. I'll show you what they're like in the car. Um, so you can see if you wanted to mount something different, what it is you're working with. Let me give you a better look at the seat. Okay, so it's got quite a nice um, sporty shape. It hugs you really well. Has this nice sort of built-in headrest, nice shapes. Very, very sporty and of course, goes down so you can put stuff in the back. Again, at the rear has a really nice look, little pocket, nice and smooth. Uh, of course, these are worn as they're out of nearly a 20 year old, well, here's a 20 year old car, uh, but they're in a very nice condition. Now I picked these seats up for 250 pounds. I had to think about that, was it 200 or 250? 250 pounds. Um, because there's, and there's loads on eBay, you just have to make sure that you get a picture of the bracket underneath because some of the later ones are slightly different and you don't want to get caught short and buy the wrong ones and then you're stuck with a set of Porsche seats. Um, boxers are very, very common, mass produced, so there is quite a few of them about. You'll also, if you're lucky, you might be able to get some tan ones or um, different colors as well. They also do a slightly nicer one, which is about five times the price, which has more of a wing up here, but for a budget option, a couple of hundred quid, it's not too much different to the cost of an interior from a TT. So very, very competitive. And I like them. I think they look 10 times nicer than this original seat, just with a nice shape in that it's got the white stitch on the black leather. Um, color wise, it is very, 
um, dependent on what you want as to what you have in your car as to what color you're gonna have. But for a black seat against like a black standard seat, I think they look a lot better. Um, they're slightly more comfortable. And I tell you what, let's, um, let's have a look in the car. I'll show you the, the base plate, how it mounts, and then we'll try and mount this. Okay, so now we're looking in the car. There is two types of mounting on this. There is a, a flat mounting, which is here, and the, the screw just goes straight down. It also has a locating lug there. And on the front, as it tips forward there, it's about a 40 degree angle, 35, 40 degree angle, and there's a bolt that goes in there. Let me pop a bolt in to show you the angle. So there's, there's one angle, and then this one's nice and flat. And all the base plate is, I'll flash a picture up for you now, is just a flat piece of metal, just with the, the fronts turned slightly um, to meet that. And then when you come to fit it, you can then have whatever you want. Because it's a large flat plate, makes it very easy for mounting seats going forward. Now, what you will need to do, and I will have to do this at some point, depending on whether your seat is electric or it's fully manual, you may have to run a wire um, along this trim here and then just pull the carpet up a bit and then just pop it out, just maybe cut a little hole here and just pop the power out to have a power folding seat. These are manual, so I can uh, not have to worry about that. You will need to put a resistor into your, um, your seats. You don't have any airbag light on. And then this one you can just leave as is. It's also a good excuse to have a really, really good Hoover because it is disgusting under there. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that forward for the time being just while I suss out the um, airbag. Let's, uh, let's go and throw the seat in and see how it mounts. So what do you think? That took me four minutes to fit. <laughs> I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. They look so much slicker, so much sleeker, so much more sporty, narrower, they fit better. Um, these actually just touch the cage if you have them right back. And I think they look fantastic. They feel great. They have a nice low position, even maybe slightly lower than this. Um, and there's loads of range from top to bottom. Um, and, and they just sit exactly how you want them. They hold you nice. Now, it is subjective. You have to see if they're the right size for you. Maybe try some out, go and sit in a box there somewhere. Or if someone's selling them, say, look, do you mind if I just have a little, a little sit in them? See how you get on. But I absolutely love them. I'll get the other one fitted and then we'll have a little bit of a chat. We'll have a little sit in them um, and then we'll see how we get on. Okay, so a little bit more involved than I thought, but, 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 but it has electric power folding rears when the ignition's on. <laughs> so I put it on an ignition switch, uh, fuse um, supply. So now it has, that part's electric. I didn't realize, I thought they were both manual. Um, so it's got manual height adjustment, which when you pull that ejects the seat upwards, then you've got um, the rear is electric and then the front going backwards and forwards is from the normal lever. Now let me show you on the other seat how the power works. Now if you, don't already know, on a TT, there is this beauty here. Let me just make it visible for you. There you go. So that yellow one on the end, uh, with a gray relay above it, that is your switch live supply. So that will give you um, access to an ignition live feed so that you can have, uh, when, you turn, when you turn your ignition on, you'll be able to have power. And then above that is an earth, a grounding point, And that is all you need. Now it's worth fusing. Make sure you check um, what it is and put the lowest possible fuse in for that. Because obviously if anything higher, it could go into fault and the fuse won't blow, which is, means it won't do its job. Um, but super happy with them. Fitting, four minutes, wiring about an hour, half an hour to an hour. Once you've done one, you'll be flying. But all I've literally done, uh, let me, Adjust this, you can't actually see, so I'll just talk you through it. I cut a, a piece of the carpet, the other side of this runner, and just fed a cable up, and it comes here, 
and then you just run it along the side, uh, along here, and then it just comes up and into the, the area where the batteries are. The batteries, the supply. <laughs> Uh, you can tell I'm out of, uh, out of practice here. So I'll quickly show you on the other seat, it's only two wires, um, brown is ground, red is live. I've literally just cut them off the plug because the plug's redundant for me now um, and just stuck them on Wagos. If you don't know what a Wago is, it's a removable connection. So if there's ever an issue, I can literally just flip the tab, pull it out and it's no longer connected. Um, but like I said, always, always, always fuse them. But there we have electric power folding pore seats in a car. Let me fit the other one and then we'll see what they look like. So there you have it. We now have Porsche Boxster seats out of their 968 in our Mark 1 TT and they look fabulous. They have that racing line that you'd want from a seat. Um, they are dead comfy. Um, they've even got electric backs. I mean, come on. When someone gets in your car, they think, oh, they're nice. And they don't, they don't look out of place. Yes, I have cream door cards, which I need to get rid of. Um, for some black ones, but if I was to just swap those over, you literally would not know any difference. So um, it's as if they're like a factory-ish fit. They fit perfectly. They look great. Let me know what you think. Do you like them? Do you not? I'm, I love them, so yeah, I don't care what you say, but <laughs> I'm sure some of you will agree it is a nice upgrade. Um, they're a perfect fit. The seat belts, I did check this before fitting them. The seat belts um, click in fine. The buckle is exactly the same. So from a safety perspective, you could not get a better seat. They fit on the OEM mounts. You do not need to do any modifications whatsoever. 200, 250 quid. Um, and you have got yourself a lovely set of black leather Porsche tombstones. Um, let's give you a rear look. I've just realized we haven't had a look at the back. Now you have to excuse the fact that I have been in the middle of uh, trying to sort out all the cabling. There's a hundred videos coming from this car because there is so many things to change and check and do and whatever. There you go. So that's what they look like from the rear. They've got a nice um, coat hook on the back and there's a little pocket. Um, let's see how we can get this. There's a little pocket there. Um, you can see there. And then they have the uh, adjusters on both sides. I think they're great looking seats. Like I said, they just fit really well with what you'd want to do. Now let's go around to, let's turn it back down again so it's not so bright. There we go. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. I think they look brilliant and they are super comfy. Nice little upgrade. Um, so yeah, like I said, let me know what you think. Uh, there's plenty more mods coming from this car, but I like to keep it um, sort of OEM plus. Um, and the fact that they bolt straight in, I mean, you're not gonna get any other seat that bolts straight in, no modifications required other than adding some power to them. So for me, it's a double thumbs up. Uh, hope you've enjoyed that video and on to the next one. <laughs> Bye for now, guys.